Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make AI art real-time gen in Leonardo AI. And right now, this should be the landing page of Leonardo. If you're seeing this on your end also, especially this templates or other um, output from creators, you're in the right place. So with this one, pay attention in the left section, there are a lot of things to see here. But for now, we're gonna focus on real-time Canva or real-time gen. So there are two different things to take note about this one. If you click on real-time Canva, it will be a different video. I think I have this, so please check it out. So for this video, we're gonna focus on real-time gen, click on it, and we will arrive on this landing page. Basically, it's another editing platform inside Leonardo. And let's try it out. Let's type a prompt right here. I'm just gonna say a bad superhero. As you can see right there, it's now creating as I type everything here. Even a simple space, it's gonna be different. Even a comma, it will be different. Let me just go on with this one in a city. Let's check how it looks like. And then let's type in some motions or other styles, hyper realistic. How about this one? It sounds weird because it's a bat. How about let's just type in straightforward Batman in a city. Perfect. Easy as that. Now, take your attention on the left side, they have elements. If I increase the coloring book, for example, I maximize this one, you'll see that it's gonna be an outline that kids can color. So if I return it, it will go back from the one we had earlier. For example, if you want to add some more folk art illustration, at the same time, you want it to be more coloring book style, you can do so. However, it will give you the warning that using multiple elements will slow down generation time. I think that's still workable. I'm just going to go back on the original one. Or we can just lower the coloring book all the way together. There we have it. But for now, I think I'm going to go with 0 0.3 right there. Increase the fault arc a little bit more because I'm lacking the generation. And I'm going to decrease the kids illustration a little bit more. And to an anime, I'm going to add it right there. Let's look for something. Art sweet spot. Let's increase the kids illustration. And basically with this one, it's too much. <coughs> now one last time, I'm going to increase it to an anime. Perfect. I think this is good enough now. I'm going to decrease the bulk art. I think this is good enough. Now, one thing or another thing that you can work with regarding this image is dynamic. This option right here. So by default, we have dynamic. If you want anime, you can choose also. It's going to be real time generation also. If you want to be a little bit more realistic, go for cinematic, like so. As you can see right there, it's a bit more cinematic, but the face is still not the one we're looking for. We can add some things here to make it look better. So let's just say, um, hyper realistic like so um let's just say high quality or high quality perfect i'm just gonna fix my word here because take note about this one the key here is gonna be be precise as you can even if you just remove a single comma there if you remove a single letter it will change its quality for example i'm gonna type in high quality it will change its quality right there so please think about that one. I'm just going to remove that one right there. Perfect. Now, for example, I'm going to go with anime. I think I like anime better. It's going to be returned by anime. So another thing I want you to take note of about this one is this random seed. So by default, right now, the one we're looking at it is going to be this right here. So I suggest you copy it. I'm going to show you some trick here. Now, for example, you click random seed. It will give you another photo or it will shuffle up. And then it will shuffle up until you find the one you're looking for. And then, for some reason, you want the old one earlier. You can just remove the current seed. Let me just... And paste the one we have. This one right here. This is the one we have earlier, right? Perfect. That's a one. Th what's the uh, good thing to know about, right? And lastly, there is this thing that says Creative Upscale on the top right section. Basically, they are two. They have Normal and Creative. Let's try going for normal right here because I have a free account. I don't quite know if I'm going to go with creative, but might as well try it. So I have those two right now on my personal feed. Go check them. Let's go on my personal feed. You can rather 
click on the hyperlink earlier or just exit real time gen here. So this is going to be the landing page again and you'll see right here personal feed. Let's click on it. So right here we have our own personal feed. These are the two earlier. Let's try clicking one of them. Let's try the first one. So this one is going to be the Alchemy Upscaler, the normal one. And then the second one right here would be the creative one, if I'm not mistaken. So as you can see, they're really good, especially this one. It's much more realistic. Now there is an option to download. Simply click on the download button right there. And with no hassle, it will go to your PC right away. And by the way, guys, one of the best thing about Leonardo is it's one of the best AI generation tool as of now. I think if you're going to ask me personally, I like this better than mid journey. Anyway, another thing to take note of is there's image to image motion, image to image and remix. So image to image basically taking this photo and creating a new prompt based on this photo as a reference. Let's try image to motion. And with this one, you can make this move. So you can replace a photo, but I'm going to use this one as it is. And motion strength, let's increase it by 7 or let's just go for 8. And then generate with this one, let's see if it will work. So view your generation status on the AI gen page and then click on view. So right now, basically this is the main AI image generation page right now. And as you can see, we have still 109 credits. I think this is refresh every 24 hours. And as you can see right now, it's still taking place regarding the motion. I'll get back to you once it's here. So hi there, welcome back to the video. So this is going to be our motion image. It's going to be moving right now. And one thing I noticed is check out the cow, the face. One of the horns or ears is missing. Basically, I think this is due to the motion. So you can try it one more time and make it sure or reshuffle until you get the right one. But basically, if you can ask me regarding the quality, this is much better than the one we started earlier. So that being said, if you want to create a prompt here, additional information for you, type your prompt here. And then if you're looking for the elements that we did, the kids illustration, the anime, you can find them here. Clicking on it and you'll see everything. There are actually a lot more here as there is the case illustration there and so on and so forth. So please take your time here, have fun. Especially there is a free trial of 100 plus tokens every 24 hours. And that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.